it's your girl Kaylin and I'm catching up with you guys again with another makeup video. Um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my makeup collection. Um, that's a lot of stuff, um, but it is only going to get bigger from there. But I just thought that, you know, I make these makeup videos and I just thought, you know, maybe I should, you know, just show all of the things that I use from my brushes to my eyeshadow palettes know everything of what I use so that's what this video is going to be but this video ha is going to have a part two and that's going to be where I use some of these and actually on my face for just a quick um, um, like daily easy natural makeup tutorial like makeup video um, and this is a different scenery I am actually at school um, for my sophomore year year two um, so yeah, let's get into the video. So, I'm going to basically do, like, show off the things that, like, show off the things I use in the order of how I do, like, my makeup. So the first thing that I always do before I do my makeup is I moisturize my face. And what I like to use is, um, Mary Kay's Botanical Effects, um, moisturizing gel. And also their refreshing um, toner. And I just like to do this before I put on my foundation or do anything else with my makeup. And at night, I'll use the scrub and then also the cleanser. So I use that. So after I use that, I use my... I have... This is a tester, but I think I'm going to buy the full... Um, product. It's Mary Kay's Foundation Primer Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 and I use this before I um, put my foundation and then when I'm done with that I use my Watermelon Burst Hydrating Powder from Say Tay London. Don't know really know how to pronounce it but I absolutely love this stuff. Um, so once my face is primed um, I don't put my foundation on yet. I normally go to do my eyebrows. Um, for my brows, I like to use Profusion's Brow Kit, which you have seen in many of my videos. And then to finish out my brows, I use Mary Kay's volu Volumizing Brow Tint. And this is in the color Dark Brunette. So then once my, all my brows are done, um, now I'll go ahead and do my face. Um, foundation that I use is Mary Kay's Timewise Matte 3D Foundation in the shade Bronze W130. And I absolutely love this foundation. Um, because I've been at band camp, I kind of have a tan. So this is absolutely not my shade because I'm a little darker. So now I mix it with, um, Maybelline New York's Fit Me um, foundation, and this is in the color 335, and I just mix the two, and it works out perfect. So once my foundation is on, I, or if I'm not using foundation, I am, I normally use um, a pressed powder from ColourPop, um, and this is in the shade. Uh -huh dark and I'll use this if like for like my quick on the go type makeup looks which you will see in my next video in the next video um so I'll use that so once my foundation is done I go to contour bronze and conceal my face so most days I use my Fenty matchsticks um, to contour, I use um, the shade Truffle, and to conceal, I use Walnut. And then other concealers that I use is Maybelline New York's Illuminator Corrector in the shade 60, and Maybelline New York's Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in the shade 40, and as you can see, I'm like out. Like, literally. <laughs> um, so I use those. Um, and to also to contour my face, I have ELF's Contour Palette. Um, I don't really use this one a lot. I'm going to use this on 
other people, um, like if I'm doing my makeup, and then I also use the Profusion Contour Palette. Um, and then to bronze my face, um, I have ColourPop's Build Your Own Palette, um, and this is what it looks like. So this is the bronzer, and it's in the shade. It's Bits and Pieces, and this is a pressed powder bronzer, and I absolutely love it. Um, and I'll explain these shadows later. So once my concealer is set, and um, I use... Sheeta Beauty's um, um, Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Um, this is in the shade Kunafa, but I absolutely love using this stuff, and a little bit goes a long way. And that's basically all that I do for my face. So now to move on to my eyeshadows. Um, I'm just going to start from biggest to smallest. <laughs> so the first palette I use literally just says eyeshadow. Um, this is like, honestly, I have no idea where this came from. Um, I got it from somebody, but I love this palette. Um, I especially love it for like the blues and like these reds and stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, and then like you, I said, I have ColourPop. This is the Build Your Own palette. And um, I have all of these colors. It's a lot of like teals, pinks, and then like this lime green. Um, when I built this palette, I was like, hmm, maybe I should put colors in here that like I don't necessarily use. Um, so some of the names, whoa, like this one is called Island Hopping. I'm not about to go through all of these. And as you can see, this whole row is not finished. That's because I did not know what other colors I wanted. So a palette you guys have seen frequently is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. And it has so many bright colors and a lot of bright and matte colors and shimmers, like glitter colors. And as you can see, I'm running out of pink and orange because I use that color a lot. Next is the... Urban Decay Distortion Eyeshadow Palette. I got this from my roommate. Um, I love this palette. Um, this one is mainly the black. It's basically the only matte color. And then the rest are like glitters. And yes, as you can see, I'm missing a color. When you let a tear or get into your makeup. But I love her too. Um, so next is a whole bunch of shadows that I got. Um, for Christmas last year and it's by Cargo Cosmetics. This one is Summer in the City eyeshadow palette and this has a lot of like pastel glitters um, like purples and like some pinks and gold. Um, this one is Chill in the Six. It's like a winter palette so it has you know winter colors. Love these. This one is Emerald City. Um, this has, like, your greens, like, greens and, like, golds, you know, emeralds. I'm going to text my roommate back. Um, the next palette is a very neutral palette called Enjoy Every Moment. Um, and this, like I said, has all your neutral colors, like your browns, some of your, like, neutral golds and stuff like that. Um... Still in my Cargo Cosmetics, um, I believe that I used this in one of my videos. Um, this is called You Have Me At Ola, and this is like a very bright summer um, like palette. I love using this yellow, as you can see. Um, and then lastly, I have not actually used this one yet, and it's called All That Glitters, and it's literally just all, <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> but it has basically all of these shades are all glitters. And my last eyeshadow palette is my Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which I'm pretty sure I've used in my videos too. And this was actually my first ever like eyeshadow palette when I started my makeup, so as you can see, it's nice and dusty. Um, so. Some more eyeshadows. I have this What's the Tea eyeshadow mini. Um, and 
It's from the Balm Cosmetics, and it's just like this light little purple shimmery shade. Um, yeah, and it's in the shade. Sorry, it's in this shade. He said, she said. Um, this actually came in from my Ipsy makeup subscription bag. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, this is not a promotion video. Just saying. Um, so since I'm on that, I'm going to show you my August bag. So this is what the little bags come in, or the little your products come in. This is also where I got my um, primer from, and some of my other things that I'm going to show you. And in here, you get five different makeup to nail polish to lotions to skincare, hair care. It's all like a mix of your preference or whatever. Um, and in my, this is my August bag, I got another eyeshadow single. This is called Pipe, and um, I love this shade. I'll use this shade um, for my, basically, natural looks. It's like a orangey, goldish tint to it. Um, I also got a lotion. Um, this is Bumby Honey Moisture Cleansing Foam. No, this is a cleansing foam, my bad. Um, then I have, what's this one? This is from It Cosmetics. This is Confidence in a Gel Lotion. Um, I also got a nail polish, which I have not done my nails in forever. I don't get them done. But this is Be Your Incredible Self Nails Ink. And in the sh color Feelings, Feelings. I don't know why I still have it in this package. But you know, okay. And lastly, I got um, an eyeliner liquid gel pen um, by John to Blue. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I love eyeliner pens. So that is my Ipsy um, makeup bag, and I love these. So now... So while I'm doing this, I'm organizing my bin because it looked a hot mess. <laughs> okay, so that's my eyeshadows. I did my brows. So normally when my brows are done, I do my eyeliner, and I just showed you that. So then normally I'll go and do my lashes. I do not put lashes on. I just really don't need them. But I have an eyelash curler. I have no idea where this came from. I think it was from the Dallas store, of course. Great. Um, and the mascaras that I use, um, I have this Roller Lash from Benefit Cosmetics. And I love this mascara. Um, I normally use this one on my bottom lashes, um, just because the brush is like pretty small. Um, as, you, as you've seen in my videos, um, I know one of them. This is the Maybelline New York, um, the Colosh, Colossal Volume Express um, Mascara. And then my new mascara that I just got is the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. I just love, you know, like the bottle and like that brush. It's something serious. So after I do my lashes, I'll go ahead and do like my blush. Um, I just use this blush. It's Color Maze, um, Matte Maze. Um, blush a lot, so that's why I really don't have it. So into highlighters, my first highlighter palette was the Dream Glow by Style Essentials. Baked highlighter palette. I got this from Group Twenty One. Um, and these are the highlighters. I guess I'll swatch them for you. So the gold one. It looks like that. Then there's like a whitish one. And my favorite is this rose gold color. That's the one I'll use mostly. Um, then my second highlighter that I got was from Fenty Beauty. Um, this is her Kilowatt Foil. So it's the Mimosa Sunrise and the Sangria Sunset. Sometimes I'll use this pink as like a highlighter blush, like combined. Um, and then 
I have my LA Colors. This says bronzer, but it's more like a highlighter. So I just use that as a highlighter. And I also have a highlighter in my ColourPop um, eyeshadow. Um, it's called Sil Voice Play. I have no idea how to pronounce it. But it's this one, and I'll swap this one too. It's not really, I like this one because it's like really subtle for when I'm doing like my natural looks. And then lastly, I have my Coco Cosmetics um, Provest Illuminating Powder in the shade, in the shade True Mama. And this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this one. Um, I love Kylie Jenner's stuff. I'll swatch this one too. Like, love it. So after I do my highlighters and stuff, I normally go into my lips. Um, most of my lips are from Fenty Beauty. So I have this one. It's like a pinkish shade called, I can't see, Flamingo Acid. Um, then my other ones from Fenty are called Griselda and Spit. Um, then I have my lip gloss, it's just Grape Tootie Scented from Sassy and Chick. It's just a lip gloss. Um, then I have my ColourPop set from my Tiana Collection, um, whatever from ColourPop. Um, I have this lip. It's a nice brownish reddish. And this is in the shade Tiana. And um, I have this gold gloss in the shade Gourmet Dreams. And then lastly, I have this lip called from Flower. I got this from Walmart. And it's in the shade 45. And it's called Chestnut Kiss Cream. And another highlighter is I have the Artist Couture little thing. I think I got this. This was a tester I think I got from Sephora. And I mostly use this on my like eyes sometimes because it's really shiny. Like, look at that. And it looks really good on my eyes. Sometimes I'll use it in my crease of my eyelids. So all of that is basically all of my makeup things. Um, oh yeah, my beauty blenders. I have no idea where I got this one from. This one is from Fenty Beauty. So I have those. And then, okay, my brushes. So I have so many of these. I'm really not about to show you all of them. But basically, the brushes I use are my e.l.f brushes. Yeah, I use those a lot. And I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I love this fluffy side. And I use this side to smoke out my lower lash line. Um, again, I use my e.l.f. Um, fan brush. Um, then I have my gold brushes. And these are from Dan Yo. I have no idea what these are from. Um, then I have this brush. This is like my blush brush from Real Techniques. Um, my Cargo Cosmetics brushes are like blendy brushes. And like these are like good for like your crease, like eyeshadow. Um, this is my eyebrow brush. Oh, this brush and came in with my Ipsy bag. I have my Heat of Beauty brush for my bake and bake and blend um, and that's about it I have brushes from Mary Kay for foundation and mostly like I said all my brushes are from elf and when I'm done with my makeup I use my Kylie Jenner setting spray um, to set all of my makeup and to take off my makeup I use Mary Kay's oil free eye makeup remover and I just use these makeup, remover, makeup removers from Walmart. 
So that's basically all of my makeup. Um, my makeup's continuously growing, so I guarantee if I do another video in like a couple months or whatever, or like a year, I'm going to have so much more new stuff. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for this video, and stay tuned for my next video, which I'm about to record right after this one. So stay tuned. Don't forget, you're a shark. You already know who it is. I'm going to kill you.